In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to refactor a simple Java program to make it easier to unit test. In my BlueJ IDE, I have three versions of a simple encryption program. On the top, the application is a single class, encrypt phrase. In the middle is the second version in which there are two classes, Encrypt Console and Phrase. At the bottom is the third version, in which there are three classes, Encrypt App, Console, and Phrase. I'll be showing you each of these three versions in turn. Encrypt Phrase is a simple application that allows a user to encrypt simple English text using common substitution cipher. When the application begins, it displays a menu. The user can choose to enter a phrase they would like encrypted. They can rotate the phrase by a given amount, and then they can display the results. You can see that the rotation causes each letter in the phrase to be shifted one spot down the alphabet. You can choose a new rotation amount and display the results again. Terminate the application by typing Q. In version 1, this application is created as a main program with some static helper methods. In the main program, the uh, application interacts with the user to obtain their menu choice and then calls helper methods to rotate the text and display the results. This approach is fine for small programs, but in the real world, most applications are much larger, and an object-oriented approach would be preferable. To convert the simple program into an object-oriented solution, we identify what is the data items that are the core of the solution, and we see we have phrase and console. So we'll create an object-oriented solution by encapsulating each of those data items. In version 2, the application has two classes, Encrypt Console and Phrase. Phrase is a class that encrypts, encapsulates the text to be encrypted. The implementation is just a string, and it has a constructor that constructs a phrase by trimming it and making it lowercase. The rotate method has the same algorithm as in the original program. And the two-string method is how one can obtain a printable representation of the string. Now that we have a phrase class, we can write a unit test. And the unit test can exhaustively exercise all the functions of the phrase class. We can create the constructor. We can rotate it. We can get the two-string from it. We can exercise it at boundary conditions. And now we can be confident that the phrase class is uh, well functioning before it's combined with other components into a complete solution. We still don't have a unit test for Encrypt Console because Encrypt Console has only a void method. The run method interacts with the user to obtain their choices and then calls the phrase class in order to perform the manipulations on the phrase. And since this is a void method, we can't write a JUnit test for it. We can run it at the console. And we can provide a data file of test data as input to it. And we can visually observe the results. However, manually inspecting the output like this is tedious and error prone. So it's not the ideal solution. A better approach would be able to create a unit test for the console. So in version 3, we create a console class by itself with a unit test. The console class is much like the encrypt console, except we've now provided a constructor that can obtain parameters for a reader and a writer. 
The reader is how the input will be obtained in the writers where the results will be displayed. The body of the run method is, has the same logic, but we've just changed the console so it scans from the reader, and instead of system.out print lines, we now use the writer print lines. Now we can create a unit test for the console. The unit test takes advantage of string reader. We can create our input data as a string and create a string reader from that string and pass the string reader to the console. Similarly, we can capture the output by creating a file writer around a file and passing the print writer to the console. After we use the after the run method is invoked, the output will be saved in displayout.txt. So the test will create a scanner to read in displayout.txt and then have some assert methods to assert that the correct uh, output is actually produced. We can check that the menu is produced and we can check that the rotation is done properly. So now we have a unit test for the console, and the console class can be tested before it's combined into a complete application. So now we have a mechanism for individually unit testing each of the components so that they can be exercised and we can verify their correct functioning before we build the complete application. In version 3, the, the application class is a very small main method that simply creates reader and writer from system in, system out, and calls console run method. Be sure to close the out file when you're done. We don't have a unit test for the main method, but it's so small and standalone that it's probably not necessary to have a unit test for it. Uh, we can system test it at the command line. We can see that running the encrypt app with our input data and then doing a diff with the expected output produces no differences, thereby verifying that the uh, output is as we expect. So to summarize, the refactoring process took a simple main method where the, all the application logic was <laughs> in one class. And in the first version, we refactored it into two classes that encapsulate the phrase and the console. In the third version, we have three classes. The application class, which has only a simple main, the console class, where the interaction with the user is performed and obtains uh, input from a reader and sends the output to a writer. And the phrase class, which encapsulates the data model, that is, the phrase to be manipulated. We now have in version 3 a more flexible solution that can be, whose components can be recombined into other applications that can be reused and that's um, more easily tested because the individual pieces are now available uh, for the unit test framework. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this short demonstration.